Hey, what's up everybody? I was putting my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K rig back together today after updating the Viltrox uh, adapter and everything seems to work great with the new um, 3.6 update. It fixed all the issues with the 7.3 firmware update with the camera. Uh, works great with my Sigma um, lens now. Um, obviously still doesn't have any autofocus or auto exposure or anything like that. Or, um, but you know, it's, it's at least it got it back to where it was before. So YouTube keeps telling me that I need to ask people to subscribe to my channel if I want them to do that. So I would love for everyone to subscribe to my channel since most of my viewers are not subscribers yet. So if you don't mind, you know, uh, at some point during this video, click the subscribe button, maybe the notification button, maybe that you like this video, something like that. That'd be much appreciated. Anyway, back to the video. So anyway, I thought I would do a quick video about this particular rig. I don't think I've ever done this before. Um, so we'll just start with this. I've got the basic um, Pocket 4K camera. Um, with the old style small rig uh, case. Um, I think that they've redone this recently and kind of changed some things about it. I don't really have anything wrong with this one and they're fairly expensive so I don't really care to upgrade it. Um, and for, you know, when I do take it out and use it uh, remotely or if I'm not hooking it directly into the computer um, through the cam link into OBS, I'll use, you know, a Samsung drive like this. Like I've said before, I use the Viltrox uh, EF M2 II uh, adapter um, which works you know fine I'm not I've never actually tried one of the other the more expensive speed boosters so I'm not really sure what the quality difference is myself but this works fine for my purposes I mostly use this Sigma lens um, this is the uh, you know the 18 to 35 the classic this lens looks great um, the aperture gets super low when you're using this uh, adapter um, and I uh, you know, have a basic rail system here this is all small rig this just kind of hooks onto this I do have um, a little bit of a support for this adapter that hooks onto the main case just kind of gives it a little bit of extra extra support I use this uh, Freewell uh, ND filter and I even use it uh, inside because um, sometimes with my uh, studio gear I will you know want to be able to see the the lights on that and when I can adjust this down stop this down it really kind of helps that I have to kick the other lights up bright but it does um, allow you to see that type of thing by using the ND filter I've got one of these uh, safety clamps um, you know for the um, the USB-C coming from the drive as well as this HDMI that's going out to this uh, this monitor and this is the feel world um, M6 maybe? I'll put links to everything in the uh, description so that you can see exactly what I'm using here. Uh, this thing is ultra bright as it says. Uh, it works great. I use it for focus assist and also for some false color. But anyway, I'll do a video later on false color um, and the differences between using this monitor and using the built-in false color on the uh, Pocket Cinema 4K. Then I've just got this mounted here with a little arm so I can swivel it around if I'm the other, on the other side of the camera or I can have it like this if I'm on this side of the camera as I usually am so that I can see myself. Uh, I'll run a line out of this uh, monitor. This has a uh, line out as well and so I'll usually run this out into OBS or something um, and turn off the, um, you know, obviously the false color or the uh, focus assist whenever I do that. Uh, and I've just got it on a tripod here. and. Um, you know, this works great. I really love this as a studio camera because it remembers all of the settings whenever you turn it off and turn it back on. And so I never have to worry about, you know, did I save those settings on that in that custom settings uh, like I do on my GH5, what I'm recording with now. So anyway, that's a quick rundown of my camera. I hope that, uh, you know, you enjoyed this. All links are in the description. Let me know if you uh, have any questions about it. 